Kris Jenner is best known for being the glamorous mom and manager to the world's most famous family, the Kardashian Jenners, and it looks like it's been the career of a lifetime so far. With her six children and now plenty of grandkids, this momager has been busy. Not to mention, Kris is a reality TV star and influencer in her own right. Author, businesswoman, you name it, she's done it. Being age 63 at the time of this video, it's obvious that Chris looks great for her age, but she did get a little help. Only in the past decade or so were we really introduced to Chris, and now she's all over and extremely famous with almost 30 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Clearly, she's ahead of the game. My mom doesn't even have social media or an email. But Chris has had a long life before this mega fame, including her beginnings as an air stewardess, her marriages, and her class up the social ladder. So did she always look the same and did the girls get their similar looks from her? Honestly, I think out of all the siblings, Kendall looks the most like Chris. But anyways, Chris was always gorgeous when she was young too and even seems to have had the same hairstyle. November 5th and now I'm 30, riding down my highway with my friends at my side. My life without them wouldn't be complete, they are my joy and pride. Even though Chris grew up looking great, she is a grandma now, so she's pretty open about the fact that she's gotten work done and doesn't mind sharing. Chris has said, You have to do what makes you feel good first of all. You can't do something because somebody else wants you to do it. You have to do great research on the doctor that you choose. We know even from keeping up with the Kardashians that Chris has gotten a facelift. Plenty of tabloids think Chris may have also gone a bit overboard with fillers or Botox, but that's subjective. Though she does admit to some plastic surgery, there are some procedures that she straight up denies, but I'll tell you which a little bit later. What's going on guys and girls, my name is Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. Today we're going to look at Chris, how she's changed over the years, especially since fame, what work she has or hasn't had done, and more. For a woman in her 60s, you definitely have to say she is one hot grandma. I've done other celebrity transformation videos and we've done some house tours as well here on Famous Entertainment, including Chris's mansions and the rest of the Kardashian Jenners. We'll have links to those at the end of this video. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss out. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always, if there's anyone else you want me to document, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. This video is brought to you by our sponsors, Adam and Eve. Yeah. As I mentioned, Chris has been open about getting work done, like when she documented her facelift on the show and made the family say a prayer with her before surgery. For that reason, none of these procedures should really come as a surprise. Apparently, Chris got what was called a pinnacle facelift, according to Dr. Garth Fisher. This facelift is different from your average run-of-the-mill facelift and Dr. Fisher explains why, saying, First, the procedures involved are customized for your face. Many small individual procedures are used, rather than any large extensive single procedure. Care is taken to make certain that any scars from the surgery are tiny and well hidden. The procedures used in a pinnacle facelift allow quick healing, so you won't have to miss out on important events. So I guess it's good Chris had hers done in time for one of her girl's weddings. These facelifts are also supposed to open up and freshen the eyes, raise the cheeks and create younger looking contour around the jaw and neck area. While from looking at photos of Chris before and after, the facelifts seem to have worked quite nicely. For some reason, facelifts have always horrified me. I don't know if I could ever do it. In addition to her pinnacle lift, Chris also revealed that she gets fillers and Botox to fight aging and wrinkles. There have been times when it's looked like Chris's cheeks had a little too much filler though. Whatever filler she does definitely help her face look younger and smoother, but some fans think she went overboard and think that her cheeks look too rounded. Personally, I think it just depends on the photo and from what I see, they look pretty normal. Chris also raised awareness on earlobe surgery, another procedure that was documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Chris revealed that she's been insecure about her ears and told her daughter Chloe, all I want is cute ears. Chris got a quick 30 minute procedure done by Dr. Jason Diamond, where he cut out triangular pieces from each earlobe, making them smaller in size. You can see the difference in these before and after pics of Chris, and she was really happy with the result. 
Finally, the one face surgery Chris totally denies getting is a nose job. She said, I get a lot of people saying I had my nose done. People are like, look at her nose, never had my nose done. I have the same nose I was born with. They say that about all my kids. We haven't had our noses done. Considering it sounds like Chris has been honest about everything else, I kind of believe her. But let's look at some photos anyways. When Chris was younger, her nose was already petite and perfect. These days, the shape of her sleek nose gives some fans reason to think she got a nose job. It could just be contour fillers. There were a few photos that did make me think Chris got a nose job just because her current nose looked a bit off. Like when I look at this before photo and compare it to this, I see why people may think that Chris's nose changed. A source even told a tabloid that Chris went overboard with getting nose work and it's collapsing a bit, saying Chris would love to get her pinched nose repaired, but she's been told it's beyond repair because she's had it nipped, tweaked, and sculpted way too many times. Well, I'm not sure how much of this is true or if it's just gossip, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Do you think Chris got a nose job or no? Let me know in the comments. Let's move on to Mama Chris's body. For someone over 60 who had six kids, Chris looks amazing. It's not like she goes around flaunting her body or posing nude as far as I know, but she keeps it classy and you can tell she still likes to stay in shape. Chris has told the world about getting a boob job and never tries to hide her personal experience. She said, I had a boob job in the 80s after four kids because gravity took over. It was great for about 25 years or 30, whatever it was, and then a couple of years ago I felt like they were too big and I felt matronly and nothing fit anymore and suddenly it was like, get them out. So Chris had implants since before she had Kendall and Kylie, but it seemed like they were a little too much for her after a while. Chris then chose to get them reduced. Once again, being really open, she said, the same doctor who put them in took them out and then had to do a little lift. He then put smaller implants in. Chris also wanted to get some footage involving her boob job on keeping up with the Kardashians because she felt like it was good to share with other women. She said that she kept her implants in for way longer than she probably should have or past their shelf life, so she wanted to give a reminder to others. Chris told Today back in 2012 about this. You know, take them out and change them after 10 years. That was a big message and important for me to sort of put out there in a comical way. You know, I made fun of myself because at my age you're over 50 and like when do you stop? But it was so important health-wise to remind women to check your expiration date because it's a health risk. I personally think it's great that Chris uses her own surgery stories as an example for other women watching the show. Aside from some boob work, Chris's other secret to staying in good shape just seems to be staying healthy through a bit of diet and exercise. Chris has said that she likes to wake up super early, have some coffee, and then exercise right away. She says, like our entire family, we prepare for a very long day. Like I'll get up at 4.30 or 5 in the morning and jump up, have coffee, check my emails real quick, hop on the treadmill, turn on the news, get caught up with what's going on. Caffeine and a workout are surefire ways to get the body going in the morning. I for one think a morning isn't quite complete without a coffee. Chris keeps her routine balanced though and says she loves a nightcap, or as she likes to call it, a wind down. Courtney has said that her mom has more of a vodka down, but whatever her choice, it's obviously working for Chris. She says that it helps her relax. Although she watches what she eats, Chris still loves food, both eating and cooking, and says she used to cook a lot for the kids when they were younger too. Some of their faves that she made were Italian chicken, lamb chops and rice, quesadillas and lots of pasta. These days Chris cooks less because of her busy lifestyle, but she has a personal chef too. Her chef also makes sure she stays on track with her healthy diet most of the time. Hi vlog. Vlog. It's vlog. Vlog. Mommy! Vlog. This looks really good. What are you eating? Chinese chicken salad. If you wanted to make some of Chris's family famous recipes, though, she does have a cookbook. This is one of the first things that my kid's grandmother, Helen Kardashian, who mm -hmm. they call Nana, taught me how to make. And when I mastered this, I pretty much made it at least three times a week because it made me look and feel <laughs> so good. Chris also likes trying different workouts to stay active and in one episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she said she wanted to increase her stamina and energy. For this type of workout, apparently her activity of choice is Pilates. Although Chris has used the magic of cosmetic surgery to her advantage, she still takes care of herself in other ways to stay youthful. With such a famous family and living in the spotlight, I'm sure it can get hectic. 
Chris makes sure that she watches her diet and leads a balanced lifestyle, which includes regular exercise, even if it happens to be at 5 a.m. Apparently, the whole Kardashian-Jenner fam likes to wake up before the crack of dawn. That kind of inspires me. You know they say all the most successful people wake up really early in the morning, and I wonder if that's true. Besides these things, Chris takes care of her skin and isn't afraid to walk around without makeup. And when she posts on social media looking all natural, her fans seem to love it too. So the face scrub is actually gentle enough to use a couple times a week, which I love because I'm obsessed with face scrub. I'm now in love with toner. Didn't used to be, but because of Kylie, she's got me hooked. I wonder if Chris actually uses her daughter Kylie's skincare products or not. But Botox, facelift, whatever help the woman had, I think Chris' skin looks great. I can only hope to look that bomb in my 60s. Chris has evolved from her early days, it's no doubt. I've learned a lot from all my good friends. After two marriages, becoming a momager to six, and now being a famous grandma too, plenty of time has passed. However, Chris's signature look and short dark hair really hasn't changed as much as you'd think. Out of the whole Kardashian-Jenner fam, Chris seems to be the most honest about the work she's had done, and I'm sure over the years if she gets more, we may even see it on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I personally really like Chris and think that she makes the family super fun and still has a sense of realness about her, even if people consider her vain. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to read out some of your comments from previous videos. On our before and after of Dove Cameron, Molly Joyce said, Can we just talk about how gorgeous she looks before and after? Like she is so gorgeous. I feel the same way, Molly. Dub honestly looks like a doll. On our recent Kris Jenner house tour video, Dana said, She's adorable and her little pony t-shirt is so cute. Thank you, Dana. That's such a sweet compliment and I'm glad you like my shirt. Finally, on our same Kris Jenner house tour, I asked you guys which one of her mega mansions you like the best. Relisa Lewis said, Palm Spring hands down. And Shostin said, the original is my favorite. Palm Springs is gorgeous, but not cozy. My thoughts exactly. If I was living in one full time, I think I'd pick the main house. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you want to talk more about Kris Jenner's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Do you think Mama Chris has revealed everything about her cosmetic work or no? Let me know who else you would like me to make a before and after video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.